I want to do another video about reframing reality because uh, in what I'm experiencing at the moment in December 2023 is a lot of people around me who are experiencing reality with the glass half empty rather than half full. And you know, when you live in the West, you can say on many levels in regards to the problems that we create in our own heads through trauma, through conditioning, through patterns, through beliefs are all self-created, but they're also first world problems, really. And they're only problems of problems of machinations that are caught up in the illusion that is reality, right? Once you come to a deeper understanding in nature of, and the knowing the fact that what well, everything we see around us is temporary, consider this, even this body that I'm in right now, my consciousness is occupying this body is temporary, so I can't take it with me whenever I, whenever I go and leave it. I can't take it with me. I'll find another one potentially. I don't really want to, but I can come back here. I want to go somewhere else. But if I come back here and reincarnate here into another body, this one's temporary. And everything I have, this hat, these clothes, these tattoos, everything is temporary. 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 But we hang on to the illusion. We dig our claws in because it feels so real. We have to have it. Everything's, ah, it's crazy. I, I need this. I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. I want this. All first world problems, all of them. If you've traveled a lot or into countries that are, have, that are not really, shall we say, industrialized or in a way that we could say with regards to the West, highly developed, you know that people are, are, have got nothing in regards to what we have in the West, but are extremely happy. Most of the time they're extremely happy with what they have. Because they have three things. One, a connection to nature. Two, an understanding of what they have they are grateful for. And three, they understand that what they're living in is a temporary existence. And they do their best to do right by their families and communities. Because that's how most people in the developing developing world, which is an a, a inversion of the truth, really, if you look at it. Because most people in those countries have got it sorted in regards to how to live your life. Really. They're not burdened by all the trappings of illusion. They're not sinking their fingers or their teeth or their, their toes or their claws into reality saying, I want this and 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 this. I don't have it. I don't have any of it. And they're not freaking out because of it. They're not, they're not, wheels aren't turning in their heads because they don't, have, they don't have all the trappings of the illusion that we're in right now. And I'm not saying these are bad things. It's just the way that we perceive them. Well, I think we perceive these experiences, these, these goods, these services, these items, these experiences. They're all just parts of the illusion that people grab onto and grasp onto. And when they don't have them, it causes their wheels to spin. It causes them their traumas. They get triggered by the experience of not having what they want. Whereas, you know what? Years ago, my friend Tabash told me, in order what humans kind of forget is that in order to manifest that what you want, you have to believe you already have it in body, mind, and spirit. And that means feeling like you've already got it, even though you don't. How would you feel if you already have exactly what you want? Want. Or, you know, whatever you choose to experience in your life, you've already got it. How would you feel if you already had it? That's how he said to me, you manifest by feeling, feeling your body feels. And this is the big thing and most people also don't understand is that electrical nature of the universe means that we are beings of frequency, beings of resonance. So when you f attune yourself to, I'm only talking here from my personal experience, I'm not telling anyone how to live their lives. When you attune to a certain frequency, when you attune your entire being to that frequency and you resonate with that frequency, being a being of frequency, you'll magnetically pull into your life that same frequency, the same experience with that frequency, and it will come to you when you are fully charged and when you're ready to receive it, when you're ready to receive it. Me, for example, in regards to my experiences of having those opportunities to create a reality around my own frequency and resonance, it's kind of, that, that revolves around two things in my life which I was really focused about. In a very egotistical sense, my my early twenty early twenties to mid to late thirties and early forties, and that was woman, and sexual encounters, and drugs and partying, 
Those are two experiences I had in my life where I was very focused about where I was, what I wanted to experience. And due to the nature of my resonance in those two fields, I always believed, I always believed in my resonance and my being, that the most beautiful woman in the world would constantly come on to me for sexual intercourse. And I would ravish them in love. And that was my experience for 20 years. I'm not just making that shit up because I'm an egotistical asshole. It's a fact. Also in that fact, another fact was that I was always on the lookout to get fucked up and get wasted to escape and had use it as a coping mechanism to escape from my personal shadow, my shadow and my work that I needed to do with my shadow, my own personal shadow work. I was too gun ho to run away from my problems and my issues and the man that I was at the time, it was like the two biggest things in my life I really wanted to experience were drugs and partying and getting fucked up and escaping from my reality, the reality that I was creating for myself. And also my traumas and my, my traumas and my patterns and my beliefs, escaping from those and having lots of random promiscuous sex with a beautiful woman from all over the world and all over the world while I was traveling and living abroad for seven years. And those two experiences for me were pretty much manifesting for four years to five to six years of my life. I was having countless lovers and a whole fuck ton of partying. When I came back here to New Zealand in 2003, things began to change for me, but in the same time, in the same kind of moment, I was caught up in the wheels and the, the progress, the process of breaking down those belief patterns and changing them and, re and replacing them with different ones it took me almost 20 years to get to a place where I realized that I needed to change. I wanted to change. I went far more inward. And now the biggest thing I'm going to manifest in my life is presence. I want to be present. And everything that I lived before this moment in regards to my beliefs, in regards to what I wanted to create in my life, are no longer important to me. I'm almost a monk in my life. I've had sex once with one woman in almost a year. That's my decision and my choice. I'm holding that energy as being sacred to me now. And in my behavior, my monkish behavior, I'm also going very much into an inner presence and momentary to momentary existence where I'm being triggered by reality outside myself but controlling my own behavior and my own awareness. And that's where my focus is at right now. So I'm manifesting in my own life presence. Presence. I'm living it. I'm embodying it. And how do I feel by being present? That's the one thing for me. And that's how I'm living my life. Others around me, I can see them, they're grasping for things and then they're affirming to scarcity because they don't have something. If you're going to affirm to scarcity by casting spells that say, I want this and this and this and this and this, but I don't have it, what are you going to experience? Let me ask you that question. What are you going to experience? But if you affirm that you have everything that you want in this reality, all the illusions, and you're enjoying them for what they are. They're just temporary illusions. They're very temp Everything's temporary in this lifetime. Everything. As a human, your life is temporary. It's a blink of an eye in regards to the infinity. It's a blink of an eye in infinity. So everything that they choose to ad adhere to or to create in their realities is, is temporary. But what if they want to, if they want to enjoy that experience, in that moment, they want to create it and have it for however long their lifetimes last, however long that experience lasts, whether it's a wife and children, whether it's a job that they love and they, they absolutely adore, or it's traveling around the world for 25, 30 years of their life and going to the most amazing places and meeting the most amazing people. Whatever it is that they choose to experience or create, it's still a temporary experience and they, 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 without getting caught in the wheels of the illusion and, and binding into it and believing it's real. And then by doing that, make it in their own heads, creating more trauma, more conditioning, more beliefs that are locking them into a pattern of more denser vibration and energy and frequency. And frequency as an electrical being, as an electrical being in an electrical universe, as an electromagnetic being, in an electromagnetic universe. Think about how you are tuning your electromagnetic frequency and your awareness. What are you creating? What do you want to create? What do you want to create? And once you come to a place of understanding that and you embody that creation and you feel that creation, like, you know, fake it till you make it, so to speak, and you feel it, 
that in my experience, and this is only my experience, I'm not telling anyone how to live their lives. It's just my experience. And that in my experience works. And it has worked. I see people around me, a lot of people around me, who have manifested in their lives that which they want to create by feeling into it first. Feeling into it. And then by doing that and resonating that energy out into the multiverse, watching it come patiently, watching it manifest in their lives at the right time. Because the one great affirmation I've taken away from Barbara Marciniak's Pleiadians, which I want to share with you, is this. And this is one of the most important and wonderful affirmations that I can share. Everything is going to work out better for me than I ever could have imagined. I know that the multiverse has the, my best interests at heart. I am always in the right place at the right time. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Mateo. Uh, hey, I'll see you again soon.